Ready to move up to a real portable power station? Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here checking out this. This is the TacLife P30 299 watt hour portable power station. And I will just show you, it has three prong AC outlets on it. It also features USB and USB-C. It works with a solar power panel for charging. If you happen to get one of those, it's separate, it is not included. It does, however, include, in addition to, let's see, let's get all these pieces figured out. So it gives you a charger, so you can charge it off of a regular AC wall outlet. And it's a five hour charge from completely empty to completely full, and it will hold the charge for six to 12 months. Now, you look at one of these sort of external batteries and you think, wow, that's cool, 13,000 milliamp hours. This is 80,000 milliamp hours. That's a crazy large amount of battery. <laughs> so it also comes with the ability for you to charge it from your car. If you're, for example, on your way to a campsite, this is perfect for camping. Obviously, it's great for preppers or for emergency uses. There's a lot of power in here, so you can power up your TV or your fridge. I'll actually give you a demo in a second. You can't use your hair dryer, though, because it's maximum of 300 watts, and hair dryers are a little more than that, as are microwaves. You can't use a microwave with that either. Also comes with the opposite, so you can actually charge and use a peripheral that would otherwise expect a 12-volt car adapter or cigarette lighter. Um, but it also has, there's one more that's really fun, it has this little USB light. So you plug it into a USB port, this plugged in, and it's a light. So you can turn it around, you can use this as a light source, and obviously it's drawing such an insanely small amount of power. This thing will probably run for a month. I can't guarantee that, but it'll run for a mighty long time if that's all you're using on this. But of course, it powers a lot more than that. So let's see, let me give you some more specs. So AC outlets up to 300 watts, four USB ports, two of which are quick charge 3.0, which is great if you wanna charge something like a smartphone. We'll get back to that in a second. It's solar ready if you buy a solar panel. TacLife sells one, they didn't send it to me, which is a bummer. But if you use solar, it also works with maximum PowerPoint tracking, which is MPPT. So that's great to have it work maximally efficiently with a solar panel for its charging, a good thing. And you can also, as I said, charge this through your car or truck or RV or whatever. So 24 month warranty, that's all the specs. Let's give it a test. So what I wanna do, is I want to power this TV and the computer and then have the computer display on the TV while I'm simultaneously charging my phone. So it's a lot of things to plug in. So first off, the plug for the unit itself, since it's already fully charged, which you can see on the front. And by the way, you can turn it off and you can turn it on. So it's super easy. In fact, let me give you a quick, here's the close up of what the front panel looks like. You can see lots of different charging options. And then on the side, here's those two AC, right? So two AC plugs. I really like this thing, this is so cool. But we're gonna plug in the monitor. And unfortunately, <laughs> this doesn't turn. So it's sort of unfortunate because I have so many other darn wires here. And then we have my LG, um, I'm sorry, no, this is the TCL 10 Pro. What am I saying LG, the TCL? So we'll plug that in, let's see over here, and that'll be quick charging. Did I turn it back on? I did not, I'll turn it on. And you can see the phone is charging. And then I'm going to also charge and power my MacBook Pro by plugging it into one of the USB-C plugs. So that should be working. And I see that it is indeed charging. Now I have to just turn on the display and with any luck, Everything will work. I do have it hooked up by HDMI and the display should be powered up. Did I turn it on? Let's see. Oh, I think I need to change from DC to AC and that turns on the AC power plugs. It also turns on a fan. So it does have some heat management features. So let's see now, let's see if I can turn on this LG monitor. There we go. So there's the LG monitor. 
and my computer is awake and there we go so it works exactly as I would hope and I can actually let's see here um, I will close up some of this stuff and you can just see <laughs> Let's go to the weather service. That's a fairly innocuous page. So the monitor's powered, the computer's charging, the phone is charging, all of this off the TacLife P30. Pretty nice. Now, to be fair, it is somewhat heavy. It is not monstrously heavy. You can definitely carry it, but it is heavier than perhaps it would be if you had a smaller battery. But this small battery is not going to accomplish any of this. So I'm going to turn this off just for a minute. Maybe. Okay, I know the easy way to turn it off is to simply unplug it, right? So we'll unplug it. There we go. So basically, I'm going to still let, see, it's still powered up. I'm going to let the computer charge. I'm going to let the phone charge. This is still powered on. It will auto turn off. And all of that's run from this. Obviously, with these smaller ones, these are great for charging your phone or your earbuds. But when you have a situation where you really want to power something, like maybe a boom box and a couple of lights at your campground for a couple of nights, then this really is great. So the only thing we need to talk about is price. But before we get to price, let me ask if you can subscribe to my channel. I get my hands on a ton of gear and I test things and I give you the straight scoop of what works and what doesn't work. And you can see with this, this is a pretty sweet device. So this will be, but hang on, let me, <laughs> let me finish my thought. So click on that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. And it helps me get leverage with all these manufacturers so I can get their gear, so I can do what people don't do very often on YouTube, which is post honest reviews that give you the pros and the cons. So not really much I don't like about this. It's big and it's heavy, but it kind of has to be because there's a lot of battery inside. So this is the TacLife P30 299 watt hour portable power station and it is a fairly hefty 269.97 at amazon.com but let's be honest if we lose power or if you're going camping or something being able to bring this to your campsite is fantastic and having this in an emergency situation when the power is out this is great too you can power your fridge with this now you know not for days but considering how noisy big gas generators and such are this is a really nice compromise alternative that'll fit in your apartment and won't have your neighbors saying what the heck is all that noise this is silent so tack life p30 definitely worth checking out make it part of your emergency kit maybe or check out something in a similar category and with that I'm going back to making sure, let's see, my phone is still charging, which is great, <laughs> which means I'll catch you in my next video.